guys, welcome back to another video where today we are in a Rainbow Friends lobby kind of morph game. I don't know. But what I do know, which is really cool, is in this one in particular, you have the ability to actually fight people. So you heard that right. You see these boxes down here with the different names on them, which are obviously orange, blue, green, purple, and some more that goes down the line. Once you've got the badge for these, you can then equip them and it starts to oof people, which is really cool. And as you can see behind me, we've got a line of dancing people. Don't ask, but you know, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it makes me laugh. They're all doing the same dance. Apart from this dude, he's just stood still because he's a bit confused. Oh, there you go. I'll take you back. He's dancing now. So on the Roblox website, I can see on the badges for Orange, you can find him in a small space of a cave. Now, before I jump off the building, I can see that there is a Huggy Wuggy here uh, with, a, with an eye poking out and obviously a kind of grinder. Now, I'm not too sure what this has got to do, but apparently walking into the grinder has unlocked, in fact, Huggy Wuggy for me. Even though this is a Rainbow Friends game, Huggy Wuggy's in it. Don't ask. Not sure why, but hey-ho, let's just jump down and see if we can find Orange because I think orange in this environment would be pretty cool because he's small, he's quick, and as there's a few people on the server, as you can see, kind of following me at the moment, uh, we can start doing some sneak attacks and uh, have a bit of fun, which would be absolutely awesome. So this is a building. I don't really see a cave anywhere else. I'm going to guess it's in this building. Now, if it is or not, is another question. I mean, first glance, I don't see it. I see lots of people. They're, they're definitely here, but I don't see orange. What's this? Oh, Oh, it's a door. Oh, ah, okay. So we've we found orange. Orange, we got the badge. Excellent. So there's a secret door here. That's pretty sneaky. So this is where potentially we can start having a bit of fun because we've unlocked orange at the moment. So if we go and find which one is orange, uh, we can go be him. But before I do that, let's have a quick look to see what we've actually got. So we have wrecked Huggy Blue 20k visit special. We've got Vent Purple, which has got a proper... <gasps> Why did I run into it? I learned this last time. You die. So obviously Vent Purple we haven't unlocked yet. Uh, I have a feeling that's going to be inside a building. If it's going to be hidden in the vent. I mean, that's that's, that's normally the case. If they're in a the vent, they're going to be hidden there. So what we got here is another kind of interesting blue with a Sonic t-shirt. Now, yes, we might be able to unlock that. And we've got yellow. Okay, so we've got a yellow blue, which is really weird to say because obviously blue is the character's name, also the color. But we've got a yellow version of blue. I think that might be the better way of putting it just over there. And in here we've got purple, as you'd expect looking pretty cool. Although, hang on, actually, purple looks very similar to green. It's almost like it's identical, just with a different colored texture on it. I say that's sus. Not to worry, as we go down, we've got the normal blue, which there's two in there. One's moving, must be a real person. And then likewise, if we go down, we've got orange, which is the one we've just unlocked. So let's just go through and become orange. And just like that, we are in the middle of a field and like that people don't know where we are. So we can actually try and run away with our beautiful running legs we've got here. Look at this. This is exactly how I remember him chasing me in the game. Hopefully this one can climb up things because if he can't, it's going to make things very difficult. But this is dumb. I can't climb stuff because this thing can't climb, basically. So we do need to get inside the building or I can click on this. Oh, that was easy. I don't need to climb the building in, really. This is just kind of giving us where we need to be. So we but I can hear people are dying. In fact, I see my first victim here. And just like that, snipped his head and he's gone. Amazing. So let's go and have some fun with this. Let's go through the door. Close this down. It's not closing. Close. Oh, not on my head. What? What? Okay, it's closed. Perfect. So what we can do now, because we're a small kind of lizard, we're going to be darting around really, really fast. Let's have a look. See who we can see. We can see Jax is there. We can see some more people kind of spawning around. Someone's managed to climb. That's my weakness because I can't climb. But I can see their names. Does that mean they can see mine? I think it does. That's all right. Let's go dart around here. I think that's green. I think we can unlock green. Let's go and be ninja. Ninja orange, just like this. Look at that. No one can see us because we're so fast. And then right here, if we're going to equip this, bloop, awesome. We've unlocked green. Okay, so we've unlocked blue. We've unlocked green. We've unlocked orange. Well, it's not killing me, but it's not letting me in. So maybe I just need to do what this dude's doing and just jump from one to another because maybe that's the secret to unlock them. But what I want to actually do is go and see this person here. Yeah, you see him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you still see him. <gasps> I've done half damage. See this person? Yep. No, you don't. He lived long and prosper. I've got another orange also trying to attack us. Oh, okay. Oh, I see another victim. I don't know if he sees me yet because he's not running towards me. He's just kind of running against the wall. Maybe we can do a stealth attack. <laughs> we stealth. We got another kill to add to our little chart of this wacky leggy monster thing. I mean, crazy. Another orange is going absolutely berserk and killing everyone. 
And this one thinks he's escaped. Nope, not today. I have taken him out. And uh, can I attack this orange? They just want to live. They just want to be able to jump to places. And there's us going, nope. We are the orange clan. The clan of oranges, which feast on you like little pterodactyl dinosaur things. Yep, that's... Uh, I meant velociraptors. That's what they're like. Without the little, like, the fan around their head. We're like tiny little velociraptors. We work in a pack. And with that being said, he's just disappeared. With everyone kind of spawning and dying, what I think we'll do is we'll go and have a look at some comments of your theories. So, you know what that means? Theory time! So, very quickly, we've got a comment from Noob McNubius. I do believe I've had one of his comments before and put them in the video. So, if this is your second time, lucky you! But uh, yes, he's got 25 thumbs up, which obviously means he's further up the list. And what he says is only two theories. One, Brown will probably stay in the pipes. It's not a reference to poop. <laughs> he's just theorizing. Number two, White, if there will be a White, might stay in water. And whenever you get too close, it will jump out and follow you until you are out of sight. I quite like the idea of that. So it kind of just randomly jumps out of the water and, it's, and then obviously just goes, hello, and then chases you. And until you're out of sight, and at that point, he goes, I have no idea where you are. I'd be like Blue. Blue does that. If you run out of his sight, he goes, I have no idea where you are, and then just kind of turns around and walks off. This one's not really a theory, but it's by Twisted Developer Official, which, if you've played Accurate Rainbow Friends RP, you will know that this is the developer, and obviously he's got some 39 thumbs up, and lots of people talking to him going, yeah, you're awesome, your game's cool, which I completely agree. It is very cool, I enjoy playing it, and there's lots of things you can do in there, and there's lots of little secrets that he's gonna add, which is one thing to keep an eye out on. So another comment we got here is, by this user just here, and it starts off with, theory time. The place where chapter one takes place is an old part of Oddworld that was abandoned due to all the rainbow friends we met so far. Proof. We see rides all through chapter one, and the building is so close to Oddworld. I mean, that's a very good point. It is very close to the theme park, and obviously the abandoned facility, which I think is being used purely to kind of make more of these characters. Can we attack Blue? We can. We can attack our own buddies. Amazing. Although we can't attack Orange and Orange. That's invincible. That's that's a no-go. It won't let you attack your own, your own character, but you can attack everyone else. Like this one here. You see him? No, you don't. He's gone. Oh, insta death. I helped. I helped him. So yeah, I think this is the first Rainbow Friends game that I've come across where you can be the actual Rainbow Friends characters. Obviously, you've got orange, blue, green, purple, yellow, and all the others that are maybe not official characters, but they allow you to attack other people in the game. So you can kill people as those characters, which is a really nice touch because most of the time you're running away from them to not be killed. But in this one, you can actually kill. So I think I give this game a bit of credit for that. So now we're at this point. I think we've got a few more theories to have a look at, so I'll see you in a second. So we've got a comment here by Mr. Face, and he says, sadly, my theory wasn't picked, so I'm going to say my theory again. Theory. Purple used to be a normal rainbow friend, but everyone started forgetting him. So the owners slash employees locked him up in a vent. I mean, it's a good idea to why he's in a vent. It's almost like a prison, isn't it? With a bit of a tunneling. He's got all these different windows, which are the vents, and then a little tunneling system to act as like a corridor to get around to each one. But he's stuck there and he can't come out. Next one we've got is by Purple T. Theory time. Purple hides in vents because she's paranoid and she wants everyone to forget about her. We are on the assumption here that obviously Purple is a she, so we're going to stick with that at this point in time. And she kills because she has nothing else to do in the vent besides sit there waiting for prey. She took the way of her friends and still lurks in the vents to be forgotten, but they still know where she lurks in the dark. That's quite spooky and I would say that can work pretty well. It's a nice idea, but um, I know with the uh, responses to this, most people were just saying that uh, instead of kind of following on with theory, they're just saying that obviously Purple is a boy. And then there's a little kind of an argument there about Purple being a boy, but it almost matches Mr. Face's one where Purple is obviously stuck in the vent because of basically killing and trying to be forgotten. But Purple, I think with Purple T, it might be more the case that Purple's attacking people to try and protect herself, which would make sense because obviously she doesn't want to die. She doesn't want to get pulled out of the vent and she likes to be where she is because she's comfortable. But anyway, I think that's going to sum up this video for today, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It's really appreciated. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!